promise. It is just for a time, not forever. And I'm sure Josephine is saying to all three of you, don't worry, I'll be there for you. And one day you will see her again, face to face, not in sorrow, but in joy, in fulfillment, and with a smile. That is the gift that Jesus gives us through our baptismal promises, through our baptismal way of life. Sister helps us through her gift as a sculptor to create the moment when we have to go through that period of sorrow. We're thankful for that gift, that Sister has that ability to share that with all of us this day. If you only knew what Frank had to put up with to get to this moment. First of all, my driving through the George Washington Bridge and making it to New York in less than an hour, right? And every moment and every phase of creating the statue Frank oversaw and he was part of, as was Monsignor, uh, or rather Mary Ellen here in our cemetery and myself. Sisters started, you should know how this all was created, through a small image you see there, made out of clay. And then we had to approve what we saw. And she corrected what we wanted and so on and so forth. And it created into something very, very beautiful. And then the large figure made out of clay. Again, we went a few times to make sure it was just right. And Frank picked out the color of the statue and the color of the cross to convey to us sorrowful mother. I think one little aside that will, should give us a little chuckle. When I asked Sister to do the sorrowful mother, she says, you know, I'm no Michelangelo, so I'm not going to do a Pieta. But this was her conception, her idea of what the sorrowful mother should look like. This was her gift as artist that we all share in this day. And so we're very thankful that God has given her this gift. And we're thankful sisters here with her two sister companions, the Sisters of, Ch of Charity from New York. And sister continues to do marvelous works. She did two sculptures in our cathedral, which we dedicated just a few weeks ago. Of course, right after that, we had a hurricane. So let's pray, nothing happens after this. Thank you, sister, for your gift. Frank, thank you for the donation of this beautiful statue. Your thanks to your family for being here, your relatives and friends. Thank you for the gift of this beautiful vestment and for the chalice that we will use at this mass for the first time, mass offered memory of your wonderful wife, Josephine. So this time now, we'll have the blessing of the statue. My dear friends, we have gathered here for the solemn blessing of this statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This image will remind us of the close ties of Mary to Christ and his church. First of all, she is Christ's mother, the mother of the visible image of the invisible God. But she is also the image and model of the church and the mother of us all. In Mary, the church joyously contemplates the image of all that the church itself desires and hopes to be. The Church recognizes in Mary the model of the path and the practice it must follow to reach complete, complete union with Christ. 
Lord God, we acknowledge your infinite glory and the abundance of your gifts. Before the foundation of the world, you appointed Christ the beginning and end of all things. You chose the Blessed Virgin Mary as the mother and companion of your Son, the image and model of your Church, the mother and advocate of us all. She is the new Eve to whom you restore what the first Eve had lost. She is the daughter of Zion, who echoed in her heart the longings of the patriarchs and the hopes of Israel. She is the poor and lowly servant who trusted solely in her Lord. In the fullness of time, she was delivered, she was delivered of the Son of Justice, the day spring from on high, your Son, Jesus Christ. In her flesh, she was his mother. In her person, his disciple. In her love, his servant. Father, may your children who have provided the statue of Mary know her protection and trace in their hearts the pattern of her holiness. Bless us with faith, hope, and love and humility. Bless us with strength and hardship self-respect and poverty. Bless us with patience and adversity and kind-heartedness and kindness sexual. May we search for peace, strive for justice, and realize your love as we pursue our journey through life toward your heavenly city, where the Blessed Virgin Mary intercedes as Mother and reigns as Queen. We ask you, Christ the Lord. Amen. I now bless the statue of the Sorrowful Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I now ask Sister to bless the statue. Frank, as the spouse of Josephine, I ask you to bless the statue. glorify our Savior, who chose to be born of the Virgin Mary, 
And let us now pray to him, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Savior of the world, by your redeeming power, you preserved your mother from every strain of sin. Keep watch over us that we may not sin. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Our Lord and Redeemer, you dwelt within the Immaculate Virgin Mary and made her the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. Make us temples of the same Spirit forever. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Christ, our priest, your mother stood at the foot of the cross. Grant that through her intercession that we may rejoice to share in your passion. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. King of kings, you lifted up your mother, body and soul, into heaven. Help us fix our thoughts and hearts on the things above. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of heaven and earth, you crowned Mary and set her at your right hand as queen. Make us worthy of to share also in his glory. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, O Lord our God, that the Virgin Mary, who married to bear God and man in her chaste womb, may commend the prayers of your faithful in your sight through Christ the Lord. sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring you, and grant that, enlightened by the Holy Spirit and encouraged by the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts may always seek out and treasure the things that are ours through Christ the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right 
just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty, eternal God, and to play, praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy. 